Dreams, redemption, and love often meet in the unlikeliest of places. Today, they met on two inches of foam. And once he's on the mat, it's just, uh, I mean, his record speaks for itself. Elliot Porter didn't arrive at his first state tournament on Dreams alone. He's just a hard worker, shows up every day, you know, does, he does what you ask him to do. It's amazing to see him succeed. You know, you see him put all his work and heart in, into this and then finally accomplish one of the goals that he set for himself. Come on, Elliot, you can do this. For Mary Carol Porter, a mother's kiss is the only physical assistance she can provide. Sag on that. The heavyweight division is a little out of her weight class. Come on, bubs. Come on, bubs. But dreams and love alone can't pin down a win, nor can they even the playing field. You see the 280 pounder standing across the mat has two good arms. Elliot has only one. If they say what happened, I say that I suffered a brachial plexus injury at birth causing limited function to my left arm due to nerve damage. He never really knew that he couldn't. You know, I pushed soccer in the beginning, but now he wanted football, he wanted wrestling. It doesn't really bother me because I've learned how to do everything just with the one hand. So. Why wrestling? Because I'm not very good at basketball. Perspective is something most learn with age. <laughs> Elliot found it early on. I was not prepared for that conversation at three years old and you know and I'm in tears because you know it's hard to tell your kid that he's different um, he just pats my hand with his little hand and he said it's okay mama he said God has a plan for me and he said I'm gonna change the world and from that moment on I haven't worried about him at all come on, come on, come on bud come on bud motion, motion. Elliot has not only overcome adversity but he's also excelled in it Entering the state tournament with a 48 and 4 record. He's overcome a, a lot of adversity to, to be where he's at, and, and he's just a good kid. That's, yeah. that's the yeah. best part. You can root for him because he's a good kid. Come on, come on. If anyone knows, there you go. Coach Lanham knows. 42 seconds, don't get caught. A state champion at Danville his senior year. A college career at Indiana cut short by an industrial accident. The main difference between me and him is he has hardly no use of his left hand, and I can still use it when I wrestle. Hey, oh, come on, buddy. Don't be too rough. Keep going. Jump in. Go. I thought my whole life was over. I thought my whole wrestling career was over because, you know, I just couldn't do the things that I'd done before. And uh, these boys have taught me a lot. So, you know, they've taught me more than I've ever taught them. One hand in the ring, one in the corner, and two clutched together in the shadows. Hold him, hold him. There you go, there you go. Watch your weight, watch your weight. Keep it broken. It's great when somebody says, man, Elliot's an incredible athlete. You know, I, I, I boom with pride, but the best thing somebody has ever said to me is, man, your son's an incredible human being. We did it, baby. That's not his purpose in life, is it to be a star athlete? He feels pretty good. He's a good match. You know, that's great to get him where he needs to go, but he knows he's here to influence other people's lives. Lee K. Howard, WKYT 27 Sports First. Lee K. Howard for the Fox 56 Sports Extra.